All right, guys, it is a rainy Monday morning, but it's a good day to wet a line. Start this week off right. Got the uh, Miyagi swimmer from Beast Coast tied on here. And I've seen a lot of bait, a lot of small sunfish, perch, alewives. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what we can do here. It's looking pretty good out there. Make a few casts and uh, then maybe get to work, but start with some fishing, so. Let's give it a shot, here we go. This thing's a little chewed up, but tuck her back in. Right on this little raft here. I'm sure there's a bass sitting there, so. The only thing is that rope. switch up the retrieve slow i mean honestly there's so much bait in here that it just reminds me of like striper fishing during the worm hatch like they're so keyed in on those worms that they don't even want anything else and we've had so many alewives in here that I think they're just gorged on them, which is great because that'll make for some fat fish. And once all those uh, all those alewives leave in the next couple of weeks here, I mean, they're not gonna have anything. So the fishing should be phenomenal. But right now it's been a little tough. Walk over here and just see if I can get a better vantage point. I'm kinda gonna give myself up, but so many frogs, man, so many out here. Make a quick little pitch out there. Finally getting some rain, which is great. All right, well, I'm gonna move over to the next spot, give that a shot real quick, and if that's a no-go, then I'll come back later maybe, but for now, try that out and uh, then probably get some work done because it is Monday. So, you know, gotta stay productive. I'm just trying to keep a low profile. Hide behind the tree. One thing I've learned, especially fishing here in shallow, is watch the bait fish. If the bait fish are scattering, there's a fish coming. And just hold on. Came right over those cinder blocks. Oh, I see little flashes there. So one thing I like to do here is I will actually put it right out there. And I'm just gonna bring it back slow. Slow, slow, slow. And then when I get into where I can see it, I'm just gonna, all right, I see it right there, right out in front. I'm just gonna let those bait fish kind of gather there and just keep watching. Watching the edges, watching the shadows, watching to see what those fish do. Because if they scatter without me moving it, there's probably a bass coming. Let's feel it coming over clam shells. Really mussels, not clams, but. There we go. Oh, dude. That, oh, no, oh no. Oh my God, I gotta get on the other side. He almost ripped it right out of my hands. That's gotta be a tank, dude. That's gotta be a big fish. Oh, he's going straight for the weeds. Oh no. Oh, it's a good one. That's a, that's a tank, dude. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh my God, he almost ripped it out of my hands. Look at that thing. Oh, dude, that's a big one. That's a big girl. That's a big girl right there. 
Let's go. Oh my God. That's a tank. That's an absolute tank. She ate it. Wow. Nice fish. Oh yeah. She ripped it right out of my hands. That thing is thick. Look at the size of that. I don't know about right now. It's definitely four pounds at least. But that's a big fish. That's a big fish in the in the springtime too. Nice. Oh, she popped that out. That worked. That worked well. I like that on the Miyagi swimmer. Look at the size of that fish, you guys. That is a good New England largemouth, and that thing almost yanked the rod right out of my hands. One more look at her. That's a good fish. We're gonna let her go. Swim away, my friend. Wow, look at the size of that thing. That is a good fish. All right, guys, that's it for now. That well, was sick. I'm just hyped on that fish. I got some work to do. I might try again later, but I'm hyped for you guys to see this. That fish was epic. Almost pulled the rod right out of my hand. Whew, I'm so fired up, so I'm going to go get some work done. I will catch you guys later.